Hello, this is Gareth from Somerset Music and in this video we're going to be learning some warm-ups and I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how you can make your ukulele playing a little bit better as you go along. Before we start, I did mention in an earlier video that I'd be doing uh, shout-outs to anybody that uh, sent me a message. So today I'm going to do a shout-out to, um, to Mr Cashmore at Hinton St George um, and Kingfisher class, who I understand have been getting on really, really well with their ukuleles. I hope you enjoyed the tab reading video last week. Um, and uh, this week, like I say, we're going to be doing some warm ups. So I hope you enjoy these ones as well and keep playing and keep enjoying the ukulele. So today's warm ups. Um, some of these warm ups we've done in previous videos, some of them are going to be new. Uh, today. So if you've not watched the previous videos, you might need to go back because I'm only going to be going over them very, very quickly, uh, the ones that we've already covered. So the first warm up is My Dog Has Fleas. And if you haven't learned that one already, go back to the video on My Dog Has Fleas. Very, very quickly, we use all four strings. We start on string number four. We then play string number three, number two, number one we play string number one three times so it's like this and we do that whole pattern four times the tab is up here the words are up here i'm going to sing it and play it for you now So the second warm up is a chord exercise um, and we need to practice playing our chords because it's really important to, to keep our fingers moving and to learn to play those shapes as quickly as we can. So we're going to play through a series of different chords. I'm going to play the chords. I'm not going to shout out what the chords are today. Instead, I'm going to put up here the chord that is being played. And I'm going to put up here the chord that is coming up. So keep an eye on this one. This is the chord that you should be playing. And this is the chord that is coming up next. Every chord is going to be eight beats long. So you need to be counting in your head while you're doing it. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see up here, the next chord that's coming along is going to be an F chord. So I'll change to F. That chord will move to there, as you can see. And now the next chord's coming up. OK, but we haven't played this one yet. So we're going to play eight Fs. One, two, three, and so on. And you can see now we change to G. OK, and that's flipped to that side. And the next chord will be whatever the next chord is. OK, so play along with with me on this one. But as an exercise, you can do this in class. You can write up on the board a series of chords. They don't have to be played for eight beats. You can play them for as long as you want. You could point at one chord or get your teacher to point at a chord on the board. So, for example, C, point at the C. Everybody plays C together. OK, and then the teacher can call out after four, we're going to change to this chord and point at a different chord and say one, two, three, four, and then change to that new chord. OK, so play along with me for this example, and then you can do this on your own in class.
So the next warm up is our favorite Darth Vader. So this one, we have the chords, which were A minor and F, and they again will be up in this corner here. And the tab, which uh, are just very, very, re very quick recap, went second string three times. We move to the third string, to the fourth string. We play those same three strings again. And we finish back on the second string. You will have noticed that I've got my finger on string one fret two. And I've had it there through the whole thing. Haven't used it yet. I've just had it resting there. Now I'm going to use it because I'm going to play first the first string. I'm going to play the third fret. The fourth string. And then I'm going to play that two, three, four, two again. String two, three, four, two like I did at the beginning. OK, so again, the information is all up in the corners. Read the tab, follow the chords and play along. Choose which one you're going to do. And then after you've played it one time, you could rewind the video, play it again and try playing the other thing. So if you played the chords the first time, play the tune the next time or not. Play whatever you're comfortable playing. Enjoy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we are going to learn something a little bit new. I'm going to put the tab up, um, and this is uh, a tab of scales. Now, scales are really, really, really important things if you want to play melodically. In other words, if you want to play tunes. If you don't want to play tunes, if you're happy just playing chords, fine. You don't need to bother about practicing new scales. But who wants to stay playing one thing? Of course you want to play more things. So scales are really, really important. In fact, they're probably the most important thing that you'll ever do as a while you're practicing um all musicians you talk to any musician any serious musician will tell you that scales are a very very important thing to practice i'm going to start today with three scales three that are i think quite important beginner's scales <clears throat> the first scale is the major scale if you know the sound of music and if you know the the do re mi song um, then this is the scale that that song is based upon. And it goes like this. So follow the tab. So the tab goes O so on the on the third uh, on the third string. O two on the same string. Now we're going to move to string number two and we're going to play O one three. And now we're going to move to string number one and we're going to play O two three. And then we're going to do the whole thing backwards in reverse so this is going to take a little while for you to practice and I would suggest that you do this in stages do it in uh, different degrees of speed so start off very slowly we'll start off together um, doing a very very slow one so follow the tab follow the yellow arrow on the tab it will show you where we are um, but uh, this one's going to be a slow one but then as you Learn the scale and as you get better at it, you can go faster and faster. OK, so very slowly at first, um, we're going to go at this speed. We're going to go one, two, three, four. O, two, O, one, three, O, two. Back down again. Three, two, O, three. One, O, oh, two, O. Oh. Let's do that again at the same speed, but this time I'm not going to speak over the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the major scale, very, very important scale. And all of the, the kind of the famous nursery tunes like Twinkle Twinkle and Frere Jacca and Mary Had a Little Lamb, all of those tunes are based on that scale. The second scale I'm going to show you 
is the minor pentatonic scale. OK, so minor there are major scales and minor scales. And this is the minor pentatonic. And it goes like this. OK, so um, I'm starting on string number two. Again, lots of these scales at the moment will start on string number two because we're we're keeping it nice and simple. And that's the key of C for those of you that are interested in kind of the theory side of things. So we're playing in the key of C and keeping it nice and simple to begin with. It will get more difficult as we advance. OK, so this is the, the minor pentatonic. Um, pentatonic, incidentally, means a scale with five notes. And before you all shout out, hang on a moment, there's six notes on the tab. The reason for that is because the first note and the last note are actually the same note, just an octave apart. Again, if you understand the theory of music, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. Hopefully, as you progress and as we go on, you'll learn what these words mean a little bit more. I'm not going to go into it now because it'll be too confusing and that's not what this video is about. OK, so minor pentatonic, O, three, then we go to string number two um, and we play one, three, and then we go to string number one and we play one, three. So it's actually not a difficult scale to learn and to remember. O, three, one, three, one, three. Um, and this scale is used... Um, in rock music and pop music a lot. It's the scale that people use to play like guitar solos um, over the top of rock songs. So you might hear some chords being played and the guitarist over the top. Okay, I did throw in an extra little note there. I'm sorry about that. Um, so that's the pentatonic scale. Again, very, very important. Just learn to play it up and down. Um, and let's just play it together um, as a class. Here we go. We're going to go slowly after four. One, two, three, four. O, oh, three, one, three, one. And back down. Three, one, three, one, three, O. Oh. And let's do that again. But this time again, I won't talk over the top. One, two, three, four. And the last scale is the major pentatonic. Um, so this one, again, only five notes. So we've got O2 this time. And then we've got O3, O3. Again, really, really easy to remember. Nothing tricky about these scales at all. Um, notice I'm using the fingers that correspond with the fret. So on the second fret, I'm using my second finger. Third fret, I'm using my third finger. Don't do this. All with one finger. Very bad news. So teachers, keep an eye on that. Make sure they're not using one finger. Um, Middle finger on the on the second fret, third finger on the third fret. Uh, let's play that one together after four. One, two, three, four. O, two, O, three, O, three, and back down. Three, O, three, O, two, O. Okay, and again without me talking. Three. Four. Good. And there's a really good little exercise that we can do with the, ma the major pentatonic scale in a group. And you can do this with any number of people. Um, if you use too many people, it might get a bit messy. But basically what you do is you start a beat. OK, so get a beat going and that can be somebody clicking. It can be somebody drumming. It could be the class stamping their feet or maybe not stamping their feet. That might be a little bit loud, but some kind of click, some kind of beat it could just be in your head. So you could just have a one, two, three four and if you're good enough to keep that beat going in your heads then that's good enough so you've got your beat going 
And over the top, you're going to come up with a very short four beat pattern using those notes. So I'll give you an example of what I mean. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. OK, so there was a pattern that used those notes and it only lasted for four beats. And we don't have to use all of those notes. We could only use one if we wanted. We could just go one, two, three, four. OK, keep it as simple as you want. You don't have to use fretted notes. You could just use open strings. One, two, three, four. OK, and you saw there I didn't actually use all of the strings. I didn't use all of the notes. I just used what I wanted to use. So pick whatever notes you want out of this scale. Come up with a pattern that works over four beats. And then you're going to play those uh, those rhythms, those melodies together over the same beat. Here's an example of one I did earlier. So there you go. There's a few warm ups that you can do at the beginning of your lesson to uh, to just get your fingers working and get you moving. A few other just little tips just to just to make sure your playing is good. Firstly, always remember to tune your ukuleles before you start playing them. OK, there's nothing worse than getting halfway through a song, especially if you're in a, a performance halfway through it. And I'm speaking from experience here. Um, halfway through a performance and then realizing your ukulele is out of tune. So please make sure your ukuleles are tuned. The other bit of advice that I would give everybody is when you are practicing your ukulele, think of it in three parts and they are technical, difficult and fun. And what I mean by that is start your practice with technical things, things that are going to get your fingers working, such as scales, chords, those things that make you move your fingers around. That's your technical things. OK, the next stage of your practice should be the difficult things. So once your fingers are warmed up, start working on those difficult things. Maybe there's a song where there's a couple of chords that are always catching you out. Every time you try and change to the G chord, that's always one that catches people out. Remember that that middle finger technique when you're playing from C to G. It doesn't work on all chords, but that's a good one to remember. But if you are struggling with that G chord, the only thing to do is just keep practicing it. Move your fingers off, put them back on, move your finger or try changing from one chord to another, F to G. OK, and just keep doing it slowly at first, thinking about where your fingers are going. Think about getting your middle finger in position first. So moving from F, you move your middle finger and then the other three, uh, the other two should fall in place. So difficult comes next. So you started with your technical stuff, your warm ups, you then do your difficult stuff. And then the final stage of your practice should be for fun. So think of those things that you can play that you enjoy playing. Maybe it's a song that we've played in the past. Maybe it's something that you've learned yourself. Maybe it's something that you've learned off another YouTube videos. There are other YouTube videos out there. Don't be afraid to look at everything else that's going on. There's a a vast quantity of stuff on the internet. So have a look at some of those other videos, some of those other teachers, because there's some great stuff out there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, remember to use these warm ups every time you play. Uh, you don't have to use all of them, but just a couple of them just to get your fingers moving and uh, enjoy playing. And I'll see you in the next video.